Lads, I've returned. I actually don't know how long it's been, but it's been like 15 days or so since I last streamed. So we back in action and a whole lot of shit has happened to the website. I've been goddamn fucking addicted like crap to web development. Like Jesus Christ. I've gotten to that point where like I've learned enough to be able to do just like a lot of cool shit. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. I've made the landing page uh, a whole lot cleaner. Okay. It's not optimized for mobile. Uh, if we... <laughs> That's what it looks like on mobile right now. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. All right. Um, so I've made the article look good. Um, and I put a fund preview here. Um, so this is the fund amount. Become a rain.gg member. Click on it. Takes you to the fund. Blah, blah, blah. You can contribute. Now, I've actually gotten currency working properly. So, at five AU dollars a month, you become a Randy.gg member. Uh, the US dollar equivalent, four dollars. Anything below that is a no go. Euro, three dollars. Right now, it's just on a test environment. There's only three currencies, but on the live version, um, let's actually check the live version real quick. This is the current live version. Um, it's very old. I'm on a dev build at the moment. There's a bunch more currencies. Whole shit done. I took like the top 1% of viewers, countries, and then just used that as a currency. So, if you see your currency, here you're in the one percent welcome anything below that and guess what guess what merch when randy.gg brand of water bottle wow a boss water bottle that i have scraped off and then used liquid white out to fucking paint randy.gg on no the past few days what i've been uh working on is discord and gitlab integration i've been learning a lot about oh two kind of i've just used a next auth.js library i i understand the library i don't know how to do actual raw oauth2 but we'll do that another day um so the reason i needed to do that is that we go over here it's gonna log into discord and that right there is going to create provide us with this right here, which is my Discord ID. So then we can use that Discord ID to basically give you a role on the server with a bot. Um, so I've created a rain.gg bot. We can log in like this. It's on a test server at the moment. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, so it's offline at the moment. So if we actually come in here and we do a login, it's all set up. So if I literally hit the refresh on this, it's not gonna work. <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> all right. I didn't compile it. If we hit the refresh, there it is. It's online, baby. Look at that. So with that, we can basically use the Discord docs over here. What we're going to be doing today is figuring out how to actually assign the member to the thinger. That's uh, that's basically what's been happening. Um, Right now, I'm going to do a pretty scuffed implementation. So it's like Discord and GitLab, right? Yesterday, right? I hit this big roadblock. I spent kind of half the day trying to fucking figure out how the hell to do it. I woke up today. I was like, yo, let's just scuff it. Let's do let's do this. I, I, I think this will work using SWR. I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see. What does it stand for? Stale while revalidate. The HTTP cache invalidation strategy popular uh, to first return the data from the cache. So this is a way of getting shit client side. So I'm doing a Discord login and I'm doing a GitLab login. That way it's going to be an easy way to get the user's ID without them literally having to go find it in Discord because it's a pain in the ass. You have to go into Discord. You have to turn on developer tool settings and then you have to like go over to your profile, right click, copy ID. That's yucky, okay? We want frictionless, okay? We want it nice and clean. You can literally just click this and you can log in and then it's all sorted, just like that. All right, so we're gonna change this to GitLab login. Beautiful. So now I can log in to GitLab. All right, yeah. So here's the issue right now. We've done a login with Discord and we've done a login with GitLab, but it's just overridden all the info. So now it's given me my GitLab ID, of course, but where's my Discord ID? You know, we have no way of differentiating between the two services because on the login call, it gives you the account, profile, user, all that sort of stuff. And it gives you actually all the data, but this is in JavaScript and it's not on the page and it's just some fucking arbitrary callback. So I have no idea how to communicate that with the actual page. Um, so what we're going to be doing is literally just use SWR. Like in here, we've got the callbacks for the sign-in. I don't know how to communicate that with the page at all. What am I trying to accomplish? So let's go back up into here and let's do some SRW shit, baby. Let's go, baby. All right, so this is an example of it. So let's just try and fetch some data. So I'm trying to store data. Uh, I'm making if you're fetching data on the client side. It handles caching, revalidation, extracting, fetching data on the client side. Okay, that makes sense. So we're gonna have to create an API. We're just gonna call it. I just want to store whether it's Discord or GitLab, but I need that data also available on the server. I want to set a variable right here, right? Which is just like sign in app. And right now I would just set it to Discord, right? Then here, set it to GitLab. Now I want this variable, I want this variable to be accessible from the server, from this get server side props. 
thing. Is there a way to do that or is that illegal? That's my question. We have all this data. We do have user, but what user does not provide us is whether or not it's fucking Discord or anything. It just gives us a name, email, and an image. I mean, in the image, sure, you could kind of like determine whether or not it is like we could hack the fuck out of that. Te in image, it gives you a URL and we could switch on the URL. That's actually not a bad idea. It's hacky, but it would work. But it doesn't actually give you this token.account doesn't give you the JWT account, which is what we're after. That gives us actual data on Discord. That is only available on sign in. It's not available with the get session call, which is kind of fucking dog, if you ask me. TBH, no cap on a stack. The problem with this was I was calling it via the server. So the context of it wasn't on the page, and therefore it wasn't actually a valid session. Okay. So maybe if we do that, okay, and then we call this, and then we log the data that we get, surely that gives us the token. Maybe. Are we are we ready, boys? Prepare your anus. Prepare it. Let's go to login. It doesn't give a shit. Oh, this is being logged client side. It gets logged literally the second I press the button. It gave me an error though. <laughs> Suck my dick. Alright, scrapping that idea. Scrapping the idea of storing a variable. I'd like to know how to do that. Maybe I can put something somewhere. How does put work? Okay, so this is an async function. So this is a this is an API, basically. Next API request and response. So could I technically put something in here? Who the fuck cares? We're just gonna move on. I don't have time. I don't have time to be learning about this shit at the moment. I just wanna get the site live. So assign Discord GitLab, lovely. Um and then down here. <laughs> What we're literally gonna do is get the session um session dot user dot image session dot user dot image um how do we compare strings like that maybe um if it starts with the discord.com <laughs> Then it's Discord. <laughs> Else if? <laughs> oh, this is genius. Why didn't I think of this before? I was blinded by my ego. Next up, what is going to be the best way of... I mean, I know a way. We can do index of. We can literally do that. Uh, dot index of... I don't know how fucking JavaScript works. Discord. GitLab. So scuffed, but it works. Surely. Surely this works. We're compiling. We've compiled. <sighs> Everyone prepare your anus. Discord login. Get lab login. Yes! We've done it! Holy shit, it works! Yes! I'm a genius! What are we doing? We're getting an error, that's what we're doing. We don't know why. Not read property ID of null. Member.roles. So the roles is null. Like why? Remember user message, fetch member, options. Like why is the roles not available? Maybe because we're using the wrong manager? Fuck me dead, this is such a- Oh, I hate it. Roles of this member, read only. Cash. Wait, are we getting a guild member or a guild member role manager? Oh, we're getting a guild member. My bad. So then from there, we need to get a guild member role manager. How do we get a guild member role manager? Member valid when you get the member should be valid. Like there's no way member wouldn't be valid. If it's not valid, then it should have been gone to the error. Like it's a user. Username is Randy. That's me. Scriminated. You got everything. Right? And roles right here saying that I've got roles and shit. Like it's Oh, it's a guild member. Do I have to not be a guild member? This is this is the moderator role. It's fine. It works. So let's just do this. Build.roles.add member. And then we're gonna add the role. And I'm a moderator now. Holy fuck. That works. Why is that working all of a sudden? It's literally what I typed before. Oh, I had it in brackets. I had it in fucking brackets. Why did I have it in square brackets? I think someone in Twitch chat told me to put it in fucking square brackets. I hate you. I'm, 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 I'm never listening to you guys ever again. <laughs> me every time so uh yeah i'm gonna polish this off and i'm gonna get it pushed up to the live and then that's gonna be the launch of the fun adios amigos bye bye now